okay, next complex number minus root 7 plus i root 21 okay so is equal to a plus ib therefore a is equal to minus root 7 b is equal to root 21 so a and a is less than 0 b and a is greater than 0 therefore a comma b belongs to q2 second quadrant law a negative b positive next to find the value of r root of a square plus b square so a square means minus root 7 whole square plus b square means root of 21 whole square and this is equal to 7 plus 21 root of 28 and this can be written as 4 into 7 finally it is equal to 2 root 7 okay so this is the value of r 2 root 7 next to amplitude that is theta argument so here the point is in second quadrant we take amplitude as minus tan inverse modulus of b by a plus pi okay if the complex number in second quadrant then we take this as uh, amplitude so minus uh, tan inverse b means root of 21 by a means minus root of 7 plus pi and this is equal to so minus plus i both in the modulus of root 21 by root 7 and 7 3 ja. so root 3 which is plus pi okay <coughs> Therefore, theta is equal to minus tan inverse root 3 and tan root 3 and 60 degrees goes to the. So, 60 degrees means pi by 3 plus pi. So, minus pi by 3 plus pi means 2 pi by 3. Okay. This is amplitude. Therefore, polar form. minus root 7 plus root 21 i is equal to r r means to root 7 cos theta that means to cos 2 pi by 3 plus i sin theta sin 2 pi by 3 okay